What is up, YouTube? Wixie here. Um, this is going to be today's video for Season 22. Um, this is from Week 1, unfortunately, because, you know, I'm a consistent YouTuber, right? Um, so the VFL is like a pro clubs-based league where, you know, you get your own player, you join a team, your teams play against each other in a league, um, so on and so forth. So first, uh, I show you guys my saves as a goalkeeper here, and I, uh, I start you guys off strong with my... Uh, with a little bit of a double save, you know, header and then a, an unlucky volley. Um, defensive, a uh, little bit of a defensive error, but, you know, who cares. Um, uh, another corner goes in for these for the opposing team, which is VFL Juventus. Um, you know, they're a very good team. It's my second time playing against them. They have some strong players like Pogba and JC. Um, they get another volley in, and I make a fantastic reflex save to my right side. Um, so far, you know, I've had a pretty good game, uh, three saves, and could have been more, but, uh, unfortunately for us, uh, it wasn't. Um, so here they play a, a little ball, a little header to the, uh, left side, comes back in, goes back to the left side, and he shoots it f very far wide of the post. Um, from a point-blank position, any player should be scoring that, but for, unfortunately for him, he didn't. Um, another quick... Uh, reflex save for me here to my left side. Uh, you know, uh, we get a lot of balls coming in from the far side and popping out and stuff. And then we get a lot of crosses. As you can see here, they scored off of their cross. Pugba, um, one of the players to watch for this game from my personal perspective, he got a cross in from a little bit outside of the six, and their player crossed it in. Easy goal for him. Uh, it was an upper 90 far post shot. You know, not much, not much I can do as a goalkeeper. I wish I had made the save earlier, but um, as you can see here, it, it wasn't. Um, also here are any plays a little bit of a shot from outside of the 18, and the um, ball goes out off of their defender, Dry Rice, after Vieto tries to play it back in. Um, Vieto switches to Mawson here because Mawson is a very greedy little guy and wants to take every corner and every free kick. Uh, <laughs> so we have Mawson here taking the free kick. He's going to play a near post, as you can see by the power bar. Uh, fantastic save from JC again to deny us to deny us a goal to equalize. Uh, however, here Mawson goes through. You know, should be an easy shot, easy goal, and JC makes another fantastic save to his far post. Uh, Mawson, you know, usually a pretty clinical striker. Their their goalkeeper is just a fantastic goalkeeper altogether. Good positioning, good diving. He made saves that I personally would have wished I could make. Um, we, I personally, as a goalkeeper, am from this current time of recording the first place goalkeeper for saves to matches, especially uh, for the, my VFL. And um, as you can see in the last two little clips that I missed, uh, their goalkeeper makes a fantastic save, and I make a great save my right side and close to the ground, reflex save. I'm normally pretty good at those, and this time was not any different. So here we have a self up there at the top uh, calling for the ball. You know, I play him. Uh, he loses the header, but still goes to Nash, who's our second striker. Mawson plays him through, uh, running down the left side. He uh, shoots the ball near post. Uh, off the near post and in. Uh, I personally, as a goalkeeper, would have hated it if that had happened to me. Post shots and in are the most frustrating shots because, you know, it, it was just a little bit off of going out and a little bit off of you making the save. They kick off again, and, you know, nothing happens off of their kickoff. But here we have them bringing the ball in. Pogba, the player to watch once more, uh, shoots near post. I make myself another reflex save. Um, having a still a pretty strong game, even though I've conceded a goal. Um... And hopefully that run of form continues. Dry Rice here, their defender, plays the ball. And another through ball comes through on the far side. Uh, I'm, th I'm expecting the cross here, and uh, the cross was just too fast. And the header was too good. And their play their other striker, Drogba, who I have played against especially. And uh, I, I know as a header scorer, uh, sh I should have easily read it from previous experience. But unfortunately for us, I didn't. I should have made the save, and it was, although it was on their far post header, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, goal, as a goalkeeper, it's pretty frustrating, and altogether it's just shots that you wish you would have saved that you didn't. Uh, we come through here, A self tries to play a ball through, it's a pretty crappy ball. Uh, JC gets a little self, little stat boosting here, get a little catch in. Not much else happens really in this half. Uh, you see, uh, you know, trying, we're trying to get the goal in. We're trying to play it quickly. Mawson's lagged out at this point. Uh, shitty internet, you know. He has, he still hasn't left the Walmart where he's living at currently. 
Um, <laughs> so, uh, they play another three ball through, you know, I'm thinking, oh no, an another attacking position, but fortunately for us, Orange here reads their entire play, comes in with a fantastic sliding tackle, um, reading his drag back, and it is the end of the game, we lose 2-1 to Juventus, who, you know, shouldn't, it, it could have been worse. Um, Atlanta is the next team we play, and they have a far post header, which, uh, my camera swing unfortunately wasn't fast enough to read. Uh, good thing is our defense likes to let me know when a far post header is won, and, uh, this time was no different, they managed to tell me, you know, oh, hey, you know, they've, they've won the ball, do something about it. Uh, I managed to make the save, and the other shot is blocked, and goes wide from the volley. So, I think I'm only the little through ball, and I, you know, I'm expecting the shot. I think it was going wide, but, you know, in, in the moment, it had definitely looked like it was going, uh, dangerously in. Um, luckily for me, you know, uh, I made the save, and, uh, they have a little corner here. Hope uh, Mawson's lagged out once more. Uh, unfortunately for us, it's after the tenth minute, so we, not much we can do there. Um, we try and go here on our own little attack. Uh, Vieta here calls for the little bit of a ball. Uh, he plays uh, a self in, who takes a fantastic shot to the near post. Um, it had been top bins if it had been more to the left. I mean, who's going to complain? Uh, goalkeeper couldn't have done much here, and uh, I mean, otherwise it was a great goal and. I couldn't have expected much more from uh, Aself personally. Um, here, you know, they have their kickoff, and uh, they once again don't score. You know, FIFA 16 kickoff glitches are the bane of our existence. Uh, they take a shot from outside of the box, and you know, way out. Nothing, uh, nothing should have gone in from that standpoint on me personally. Uh, I see myself as a as a decent goalkeeper in situations like that. You know, where you don't want to be getting scored on, and um, you your defense can rely on you to make those saves that um, you wouldn't be expected to make as any other goalkeeper. Um, especially me, for instance, I take a lot of shots. Uh, we don't usually play with a full defense, um, but that gives me a lot of saves. Like you can see here, another reflex save and another wide shot. Uh, thankfully, our center back, our CPU center back here, blocked the shot. Um, otherwise, you know, uh, they're just barrading us with attacks after attack and. They finally managed to finish one upper 90 far post. Uh, any striker would be jealous of that shot. Even Suarez wouldn't have made that shot in the 40 goals he scored. Um, you know, fantastic shot. Nothing I can do there to stop that. Um, very good team. Uh, you know, you wouldn't have expected much less. Although, here they get another corner. And, you know, I'm thinking, you know, they might, you know, they might cross this in. And they fortunately for me to, uh, middle of the box, should not be going in on me ever, and uh, once again, our center backs, you know, they play a very crabby ball through to their striker, I'm thinking of coming out, and then won't Orange and him battle out for the ball, and I make a fantastic save, and with my left hand, pushing it out of the post, um, the situations like that, where the auto positioning can't help you, and you'll have to use the, the left trigger and the left stick to move yourself in position for the goal, um, they have another corner, as seems to be routine in this game. Uh, you see them swinging in uh, middle of the game, middle of the box again, and far post. Uh, it was a fantastic attempt for a header, and unfortunately for him, it went far of the post. Uh, here we get our own corner opportunity. Uh, Vieto plays a self, and you know he tries to cross it in. Uh, gets a little bit of a foul here after he gets pushed off the ball. He manages to work around them, tries to play the RBA into the box. Doesn't well, doesn't work. He keeps trying to take shots over and over, and Nash gets a little um, tip of his t the tip of his knee, I think it was. He scored with um, you know Nash is a lucky little guy there for getting the the uh, the credit for that goal. Uh, it was well done from self personally. I think he should have gotten the assist and the goal, but Nash and his greediness decided to win himself the ball. Fortunately for us, that was our last kick of the game, and now we're playing against a different team. Um, not sure I can tell you the name off of the spot, but I know they're a very good team. We've played them before. A little bit of shambles in the box here, and uh, they shoot far post, you know. Um, once again, another shot that I cannot be personally expected to save. It was just everywhere. The ball wasn't going, uh, the ball was going everywhere, and, um... Myself, personally, as a defender, would have been kicking myself at this point. Um, as you can see here, it's actually Peruga Calcio. Um, I see them still, I see them as a class side. They, they did pretty well last season, uh, season 21, when I played with Bologna, and then Sampdoria for the end of the season. 
Um, and they haven't changed at all. You know, their their strikers are good, their center backs are good, and they're playing crosses like that in. And unfortunately for me, I don't get the touch in. Um, they're, they're just a class side. You know, there's not much else can be expected from you, uh, from me personally as a goalkeeper. Um, you know, the defense needs to mark up. I need to be making more saves. I need to be communicating with my defense, telling them I'm going to come out or stay in my line. Um, but for myself personally, it's we're 30 minutes in. We're already conceded two nil or uh, three nil. And here he takes a little pop shot from 30 yards out. Uh, if that had been going in, then I would have called myself orange and never played goalkeeper again. Uh, <laughs> I get a little punch in here at, this, at my six-yard box, and you know, I'm thinking, oh, maybe a counterattack. And unfortunately for us, nothing happens. Here you can see we're getting dominated by Periga Calcio. 61% uh, possession to our 39, and five shots, four on target, and to our one-on-one. -on -one, um, we should definitely be doing a lot better in this game than we are currently. Um... Here we go, a little free kick tactic, and Nash gets a great shot off, and, you know, fantastic save from their goalkeeper. Um, ball comes out, you know, we're thinking we can keep it in, and we do. Um, Mawson whips in the ball here, and, you know, it was a fantastic cross, it was just unfortunately no one got their head to it. And we're thinking, okay, you know, uh, dangerous counterattack might happen, might not. And fortunately, unfortunately for us, it, it does come, and he plays a long ball out to the left side, um, I'm thinking he'll cross it in, and he does. It was a far post shot. He plays the through ball inside and make a fantastic save uh, right off of my line to to keep the ball out of the goal. Uh, you know, we get the ball clear eventually, and um, the option for a counterattack is here. So we're pushing up. Aself here takes a very far shot out, and their goalkeeper, Banks, makes a fantastic save. Uh, one many goalkeepers would wish they could make. Um, so that was the end of that game for me. Uh, personally, it was a terrible game. Um... You know, uh, I have four saves and three conceded. It's just not good for myself as a goalkeeper. Um, here we're playing against another team who um, they don't have a, a large amount of uh, fame within the VFL. You know, um, there are many teams who could do a lot better. And um, unfortunately for me, they they do manage to make themselves a fantastic opportunity. Uh, there's not much, you know, I could have done there, far post shot, what are you going to do, it's perfectly placed, um, I mean, otherwise, I don't know what's expected of me, if I'm supposed to make those saves, but Pescar, personally, as, um, as any VFL player would probably say, or a good side, I come out here for a fantastic 1v1 save to my left side, uh, I'm personally known in the, in my, in my team for my 1v1 saves, I, I don't like to concede them very often, and, uh, most of the time I don't. So here we have, you know, a final little opportunity. We're thinking, oh, maybe we can do something with this. And uh, fortunately for us, Mawson, striker, fantastically placed, is standing in the six box and puts a first-time finesse shot far post to to uh, get ourselves the tie. Um, you know, fantastic goal from Mawson. You can't expect anything more from him. And in the end, that was uh, the last play of the game. We managed to tie 1-1, and so far we are 1-1-1.